Hello, and welcome to my presentation about, well, me. I'm a newscast director, a husband, a father, a graphic designer, and a grad student. I suppose I'm at my least comfortable when talking about myself. Finding 30 seconds of content about me is going to be hard enough, let alone almost seven minutes. As this graduate program continues, and for some of us as it begins to come to a close, I hope we're experiencing some career evolution. There's me on the far left. <laughs> My boss always said I was a button monkey. I'm just hoping to move up one or two tiers, never mind becoming fully actualized as an interactive media producer. Hmm. I was born in Texas and proceeded to move from place to place. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, even Europe for a time. I'm not an army brat, just lucky, I suppose. The moving hasn't showed, slowed down much, though Memphis is the second longest place I've lived. I'm looking forward to doing some more moving in the near future for a new job and a new start. I went to undergrad at the University of Denver. I received my bachelor's in mass communication with an emphasis in film, and I minored in art. My parents wanted me to major in business, but in the end, they were happy I majored in anything at all. In the end, they got what they wanted, me with a degree, and I got what I wanted. I got to go skiing. My plan was to go back home after graduation and get a job that would allow me to write a few scripts and put a reel together, and once done, take off for Los Angeles to make my fortune as a music video director. The only problem with my plan was that karma or destiny or, or luck or whatever you want to call it had very different plans for yours truly. It happened when I walked into this production control room. I felt like I had just arrived on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. The monitor wall, the switcher with the countless twinkling buttons, and the digital effects units. I was in total awe. I knew then that I wanted to play with all of these gizmos and make TV a career. To make things worse, I met her. A new associate producer shows up in my life. She loves to tell the story that on her first day as a producer, she was nervously counting down to the end break. Speak the beep up, the brutish director yelled at her. Me? It was at that point she realized she was going to marry me. Yeah, I can't figure that one out either. As time went on and my new bride and I experienced what other TV stations were like, I began to notice a pattern of decline. Quality and experience were replaced by green and cheap. Former FCC chair Newton Menno couldn't be more prophetic when he said, when television is bad, nothing is worse. I can assure you that you'll observe a vast wasteland. Fast forward to today, I've been trying to get out of TV for some years now with no luck. It turns out I have a set of very specialized skills that don't translate into any other field, except perhaps a psych award resident or one of those sideshow freaks that bangs his head into a wall over and over for pocket change. We all have our reasons for participating in this program. Some of us are trying to gain a skill that coincides with a present career path, while others of us are trying to reinvent ourselves in a new career. I fall into the latter category with a passion for creating. I love tinkering with graphics and animation, and now coding. When I started this program, I had no earthly idea what any of these highfalutin course titles meant. Visual design, well, sure, I got that. Animation, yes. Writing, okay. But here was this word that was peppered throughout, interactive. And how or why it was used didn't really dawn on me until neck deep in the program. My mind wandered, as it often does, to some of my favorite movies and how interactive the imagined future might be. Minority Report had shopping centers that could scan your eyes and instantaneously create a personalized ad for you. Or the latest reboot of Total Recall, a phone had been surgically implanted into the hero's hand. I wanted to be a part of that. And then I thought to myself, wait, having a phone implanted in my body? Having companies starting or storing and using data on my spending habits and creating ads that are designed for me? This kind of stuff is already happening. Try going to a website without seeing a personalized ad or try leaving your house without your smartphone. This begs the question of how I see myself fitting into this sandbox. In ICM 512, I found each of the processes quite interesting and creative. From the wireframing to creating personas with detailed backgrounds, it was quite an eye-opening experience going through all the steps to create what was hopefully a thoughtful experience. 
I suppose I get the greatest charge from designing. I've always had a deep interest in those displays created in sci-fi movies. I would even go home as a kid and create my own displays, caring, caring only that it looked futuristic and cool. I would play in cardboard boxes for hours, exploring the cosmos, but I couldn't leave Earth until my cockpit looked cool. I never really thought of this before, but I suppose I now know why I was drawn to the television control room. And with the introduction of control room automation and less interaction and creating on my part with the technology, it's perhaps why I've been questioning my career choice. I didn't know I'd be psychoanalyzing myself in this presentation, too. Who knew? I'm the kind of designer who's interested in the details, from the elements that are in front and center to the minuscule piece in the background that no casual user would ever notice, but I would. My wife, who I've worked with on a number of projects, would get frustrated with me because I'd spend an inordinate amount of time on those kinds of details. I'm also kind of the kind of designer that isn't, in my opinion, too good at coming up with original ideas. What I am good at is taking an original idea and making it better. I suppose this stems from my time as a graphic designer at News and having to visualize a graphic or an animation a reporter would need to explain a complex point in their stories. I also enjoy, co enjoy coding a great deal, though my experience and knowledge is still in its infancy. I incorporate the same attention to detail that I would when designing visual elements. My coding skills, especially those dealing with interactivity, admittedly aren't anywhere near a professional's level. I'm really looking forward to teaming up with some of my classmates and designing, at least on paper, an incredible web experience. I also hope you've enjoyed this presentation and a little piece of me. Thanks for watching.